Let's go back to 2012 when the second rebooted Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series happened. Cowabunga dudes, it's geeking time. Welcome back. So, this is a show that started not 10 years ago, but 11 years ago at this point. Today I'm talking about the complete series of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 series. I absolutely loved this show. Look, I love the 80s TV series. I, uh, I, bake, I grew up with the tail end of that show, and I also watched the 2003 series. And then when I was told there was a 3D animated show, I think there's a little, there you go, sorry about that. When I was told there's a 3D animated show coming out, I was like, hmm, okay, let me, let me check this out. And when I first started watching this, I gotta tell you, I was hooked onto this show. I thought that this was such a good series. To me, it was like, it was really like, it was a mixture of the 80s show and the 2003 show, but 3D animated. So I really adore this show. Now we all know that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem is coming out. And I'll tell you right now, I am insanely excited to see that movie. I'll tell you that right now. I just figured while well, it would have been cool, I showed you guys when I went out of town, my, uh, well, I did that Value Village haul. I picked up this on the way back and I said, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll unbox it and show it off for you guys. So I figured I would do that, but I also thought it'd be kind of cool to include some extras in this video. Cause lo and behold, I don't just have the complete series. I have some really random individual DVDs from this show. There was a point in my life where I uh, had no internet for some reason. Uh, that's when I took a huge hiatus from my channel, a year off of my channel. I had no internet. Um, the place I was staying in wasn't the greatest. I lived there for about like seven months. I was like, I'm not gonna put the internet in here. So I was buying DVDs and I ended up with a stack of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles DVDs from 2012, random stuff. And I just really got hooked into it. However, I could not watch the entire series. Thankfully, there's a platform like Pluto now that you can watch that on. However, I just love the show. I did. I was able to finally to re watch the whole damn thing, but I picked up the complete series on DVD because that's how much I really like the show. I'm still looking to get obviously the 1987 series and the 2003 series. I would love to get those two on DVD. That's for sure. But for today, we're taking a look at this. So what I'm gonna do is I, we will take a look at this big chunky set here. I'm just gonna bring this over to the side, over to the side, and I'm gonna bring this in. These are the stack, this is the stack of the random uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles DVDs I have from the 2012 series. And uh, I'll show you guys these off. Then I'll show you the, then we'll take a look at the complete series and we'll compare to see what these each look like. All right, move this, I'll, I'll, this has a little bit of significance. I'll show you this guys after. So let's do this in order. So I'm just gonna, well, I'm throwing things around. I'm sorry guys. Okay, so. Put that off to the side. First things first is we have, okay, the first, I will say this, the first two DVDs in this came in this kind of slip cover. I got it at Walmart for $6 back in the day. So it came in this slip cover, just letting you know that. So the first thing off the bat we have is, I believe this is the first one, Rise of the Turtles. It's the first volume DVD. And it comes with all these episodes, these special features. You guys can read that up if you want. And when you open it up, you have a little bit of a read up on Leonardo. And then you have the disc, which is just a gray thing right there. Just Ninja Turtles, Rise of the Turtles. So that there is the first one in the set. Followed by the second one in the set, Enter the Shredder. There you go. All these episodes here. So you can go ahead and pause and check out those episodes. There's a read up, there's your special features, a nice shot of the Turtle Brothers. Open it up, it's the same thing for the disc. And this time you got something about Donatello. So that's really cool in itself. And then this one I actually got a lot recently. I don't know, I was at a Walmart and uh, they had it for like five bucks. I figured, why not? This is Mutagen Mayhem. So there's all that good stuff there. Once again, same thing for the disc. And you got to read up on Razar. Not the movie character, but Razar from this series. It's Michelangelo who named him, so that's why he's called Razar. Now you're entering my favorite character. Yeah, here comes 
the good, the bad, and Casey Jones. So that's cool green uh, orange cover. And once again, you can read up on all that stuff, guys. All that good stuff. The special features down here. All the discs are the same. And then you've got to read up on your on, my, on your boy, my boy, my favorite, Casey Jones. So that's cool. So there's nothing much to the disc. It's just a gray, simple disc. And we got this two disc set, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Revenge. That's what that looks like. And there's all the goodness there. I've shown these off before on my channel, so I'm just showing them again. And those are the discs right there, Revenge 1 and 2. And this time around, you have a read-up uh, You have a read up on a Triceraton. So that's a really neat inclusion there. And here's the thing, what I, what I showed you at the beginning that Leonardo, basically this set here came with this really neat Leonardo rubber uh, key tag or bag tag, whatever you wanna call it. So that came with that and that's really neat. That's why I want to show you guys that and include that. And then finally, this is the tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the final chapters. Um, I think it's the last bunch of episodes. So you have Monsters versus Mutants, the Samurai, and Mutant Apocalypse with two disc set. There's nothing on the inside, but see, these are what the discs look like here. There's just two of them. I'm not sure why they went for this kind of packaging, but nonetheless, I really suggest the Samurai and the Monsters. Well, actually, they're all good, these episodes. So those are the individual uh, Ninja Turtle sets. And like I said, this little rubber thing came with revenge. So that's all the individual stuff. Now um, I'm gonna move these guys out of the way, take them off the platform. And we'll take a look at the complete series and see if that's any different. Now you can get the awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie on video cassette. And when you buy the movie, you'll also get a free Pizza Hut coupon book worth $20 on some of your Pizza Hut and Pepsi favorites. But hurry, this deal is awesome! So here we are, the Ninja Turtles, sorry, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the complete series from the 2012 series. All these, like I, well, I forgot to mention, all these were released by Nickelodeon, so is this one. I paid $15 for this. Let's see, is this worth it? Especially just for $15, which is really inexpensive. Let's see what we got. So when we take a look here, this is the front. You get a photo of Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo it just says the complete series. It includes all 124 episodes. And this is a thick case, a thick clear case that it comes in. Uh, and on the side there, just says the turret and invoice. It says the same thing as the front. And you got a shot of the brothers at the bottom here. Kind of rem kind of reminds me, I don't know why, of the movie poster when they uh, they're seeping out of the sewers. And then the back shows the brothers again, complete series. There's a read up. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. So here you guys go. You can go ahead and read this up. It has all five seasons in one box. And if you look down here, here you go. There are 20 discs included in this set. Dolby Digital, mm, widescreen. So it is a DVD set. Um, look, I'm not gonna complain. Would I have liked to have seen a Blu-ray set of this? I think this one could have benefited from having a Blu-ray set because it's a 3D animated show and the animation is just so spectacular, I find, on the show that this particularly could have benefited from being a Blu-ray set. Whereas, you know, the original Turtles show, the 2003 show, yeah, why not? Put those on DVD, because when those came out, it was standard definition. There was no high def just yet. Not, I mean, not until the later seasons, maybe, of uh, the 2003 series, where I think that ended in, like, 2010. So they were hitting the HD market then. But I think maybe this could have benefited from being in uh, a complete series Blu-ray box set. Look, they did, they did a complete series for Avatar The Last Airbender. They released it on DVD, and they released it on Blu-ray. So... Nickelodeon could easily shell it out to put the Ninja Turtles, this, at least this series, on Blu-ray. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Let's take a look and see if there's anything special on the inside. Oh, we love that cracking open sound. And here you go, guys. First things first. Let's remove this sleeve. It shows you the discs, the disc order, 
and all the episodes. And as you zoom pan down, you got all the brothers. There you go. And then look, you have all the episodes. So it literally is all the episodes. That, they're not lying to you about that. Let's go ahead and put this back in. However, and I don't care because I paid 15 bucks and it's you still get the complete series. Here's the thing. When you take a look, disc one is Rise of the Turtles, which I showed you guys earlier. Disc two is Enter the Shredder. You know what you see what I mean? I know this says disc one over here, but this is from the Ultimate Showdown set. So I don't know if I'm going to take out all the discs, but I will show you basically exactly what I'm trying to tell you here. Basically, these are just the individual releases that they took and they mashed it together as a complete series set. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not going to take the time because they're all pretty much the same. It just has the different names on them. Don't get me wrong. It's still awesome that they put this out as a collected set for those who couldn't find the individual uh, DVDs. I couldn't find all of them. So yes, this is perfect for me. Now I can have the whole entire series. Like I said, I'm paying a really cheap price. However, I will say this could have been cool for them to benefit and have basically those uh, individual discs specifically for this set and have it labeled as disc one with the episodes and the episode order instead of just having taking the individual you know, individual set releases and, and then just smashing them together because I feel like it might be a little confusing to find out, oh wait, which disc do I go on to now for disc 10 to watch, to continue watching? It might be a little confusing in that sense. So yeah, like I said, they sprung to put Avatar The Last Airbender out on Blu-ray and that was its own thing. So I kind of think that maybe they could have sprung to have individual looking discs representing the complete series and not just taking the discs from the individual releases and putting them in here as a complete series. They should have just literally done, hey, this is a complete series. Good. Here's disc one. Here's disc two. Here's disc three. So on and so forth. And also benefit it from releasing it from, on Blu-ray as well. But nonetheless, you still get a pretty hefty, pretty nice looking set for a really cheap price, especially if you did like this series. The price, the price you're going to pay for this is really worth it. It's, it's not, it's not expensive at all. It's really cheap for what you're paying. And look, it's coming from, from the individual releases, from the original uh, DVD set releases. So you're still getting a ton of special features for the most part, for the, at least for the earlier DVDs. So I still think it is pretty worth it to pick up, especially if you didn't get your chance to pick up all the individual releases. Yeah. You know what? Go ahead and pick this up. You're not gonna, look, it's gonna cost you more to go out and seek out all the individual releases than it is to buy just this one set. So if you wanna seek out the individual releases, go for it, that's cool. But if you can't, honestly, I recommend picking it up. I just think it sucks that they couldn't, you know, make the discs specific to this set and, the, and they really had to go in and put all the individual releases in this together so that it doesn't really like I just wish that it would say season like season one season two instead of just that's all I'm saying but nonetheless it's really worth it to pick up done enough ranting let me bring in the rest of the boys the rest of the well the rest of the boys the rest of the dvds that we had to look at today and this you know neat little keychain we had to look at earlier today but that's it. Did you guys watch the show? Um, did you guys buy this complete series box set? And if you did, do you feel the same way? Do you feel like they should have, you know, put together an actual thought out complete series box set with season one, disc one, disc two, season two, so on and so forth, instead of just calling this a complete series and smashing together the individual released DVDs. Do you guys agree with me on that one? Or do you think, hey, no, you know what? I think this is pretty cool. We didn't get a chance to get those individual DVD sets. So this is really neat. It may be the complete series, but at least, you know, like it may be, be boasted as the complete series, but you know, we still have all those individual releases collected here. Like I said, let me know in your comments down below. I think it's cool. I still think it's worth it. I suggest picking it up. I really do. 
you're gonna if you're gonna if if you want to buy it, yeah, go ahead. It's it's cool. Like I said, the only thing that sucks is that they could have put this out on Blu-ray. That's all I'm saying. However, when I did take a look at it on my Blu-ray player, honestly, not that bad. The conversion on the DVD to when you put it into the Blu-ray player looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, not going to complain on that end either. Anyways, look, I got a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles content coming out, especially with the fact that the Mutant Mayhem movie is coming out. I'm looking forward to that. By the time this video is out, I don't know if it's out yet. If it is, then, then it is. But if it's not yet, I am super excited to, to see that movie. I love Ninja Turtles. One of my favorite franchises of all time. Like I said, my, my Power Rangers, my Spawn collection are getting out of hand. So right now I'm focusing on building my Ninja Turtles collection. And that's something that really makes me happy. Speaking of about making me happy, kind of see a recurring theme with, with what I'm doing here since I've been going back. Please and thank you. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to be notified whenever I got some brand new content out. It's the best way for you guys to, to be sitting down, sitting down at home, watching TV and getting a notification pop up on your phone saying, hey, Boomer the Nerd, he's got a brand new video up. Might not be cool, but let's check it out. But for real though, I would really appreciate it if you could do all those things. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys watching my videos, coming back here, and if you guys did watch this whole entire video, I really appreciate it. I know DVDs are not something that we talk about anymore these days, but I still love the physical media. I'll be back again soon with some more content, especially some more Ninja Turtles content. Heck yeah, I'll be back with some more of that. Stay cool, stay nerdy. Guys, keep hunting, keep collecting, but also more importantly, guys, it's cool if it's nerd cool. Cowabunga, dudes!